Well, how do that, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the viewerverse, I'm doing a video about No Man's Sky and the current state of affairs where it comes to player activity and things like that inside of the verse. So there's been a couple of videos done by other content creators that people have hit me up and said, Captain Steve, what's your thoughts on these? So yeah, might as well pass comments. So there's been videos put out there, Game Over No Man's Sky by Elite Gamers. And there's another that says, um, Is No Man's Sky Dead by uh, Jim's NMS or Jim's Games. Um, so yeah, very valid videos, I suppose, in a roundabout way. But I'm going to be looking at as to why I don't think there's cause for concern out there in the view of us, uh, so no need to worry. But yeah, we get into that. So I done a poll over on my own community tab. So if I jump on it over, here we go, chicka boom. There we are. Let's let's move Winamp down a little bit. Let's put that underneath there. Nice. I do like good old Winamp. So here's my poll here. So yeah. <laughs> right, let's just make it a little bit bigger on the screen. So no man's sky slows down this time of year every year why do you feel this is now i done this poll mainly to see whether it rings true to the way that i feel now hello games always downs tools around this time of year and they don't sort of pick up tools until around about february of the following year and there's good reason for that which i get into into a moment it's not just because of christmas it's to do with financial years and things that are a little bit boring but we'll touch on it anyway Right, okay, so Hello Games rarely releases a content update in winter, mainly because their larger content updates usually drop in summer. And then, yeah, what's the point in putting something out in winter? Because it's not going to tick over to their next financial year. They have their sort of you know, investors and things to satisfy and dividends to pay out and all that sort of shenanigans. And also all the game awards seem to come to a close towards the end of the year. So if they've done all the effort in the year, why do something at the end of 2022 when kind of the new counter starts in 2023? Family work and social gatherings over gaming. So a lot of people will be wanting to you know see family rather than play video games and look 50 percent of people hit that up it's kind of freaking obvious really isn't it lots of games and sales promote and try another games if you go around and have a look at a lot of content creators channels right now including my own we are looking at other games that are coming out in 2023 drumming up a bit of excitement in maybe sistering games to our channels and things like that so that's another thing but you know only 77 percent have actually reflected that which is is kind of obvious too this year is worse than others due to 4.0 bugs so I've added that one in because there was a drop off in player numbers around the time of the waypoint update and it was due to massive changes and balancing to some of the mid maxes. So there's quite a lot of people that have dropped out from No Man's Sky, but we are seeing an upturn in reviews, which we'll get into into a moment. So yeah, and then I put all of the above. So it, it does have a little bit of bearing, all of the above. But yes, if I had to say anything is to do with, you know, Hello Games rarely do anything this time of year. So... If you jump on over to the Hello Games Company House page, so over here in the UK, whenever you have a business, you have to register it on Company House. And in here, you can file, every single company files all of their reports and their statements through the years. And you can go and see that there's patterns here, and you can look into here to show that they do submit their accountings around the end of August to end of November each year without fail. So why would they put out a massive update just after they've filed their tax? taxes and their returns and their profits and losses and all that sort of shenanigans for the year at the end that it makes no sense for them to do so so we wait until it ticks over to 2023 and this is kind of a pattern that you can see so if you've been following no man's sky for a long time like the people that have been covering no man's sky since day dot you already know this pattern you already know to go and check on company house for things and so forth and so on because sometimes they do mention other ips they're working on i have checked this one out all full 27 pages there's no mention of their new project as yet but they did mention that they were working on a shorts which happened to be the last campfire in previous tax returns so it's always worth taking a little bit of a nose anyhow we have the expeditions that are running across this year's Christmas festive period and we've been given all of the dates. So every single time that one of these ticks over to another one, you're going to see a little spike in player numbers. Not a massive spike in player numbers, but I'd imagine there's a lot of people that have picked up No Man's Sky now on Nintendo Switch and are going to start playing No Man's Sky a little. I mean, I am seeing my views still quite steady on videos. I wouldn't say they've completely bottomed out. I mean, yeah, 
us always covering No Man's Sky content, it's always a bit of a roller coaster. Whenever there's an update, there's an uptick, and whenever there's not, there's a bit of a lull. Now, that used to be a lot worse going back to when we, you know, before Next and Beyond and the like. Now, Hello Games seem to spread out their updates through the year. Every two to three months, there's a new update that drops that brings in some content and something to do alongside another expedition. And it seems to be smaller chunks that we're not seeing the massive spikes and the drops off like pure roller coaster mayhem that we were seeing a few years ago. So maybe that's where they're uh, alluding to, that they're seeing this drop off and they feel that No Man's Sky is dying. But you already have to go over to Steam and Steam tracks player numbers. And yes, you can see that there has been a drop off in November, but there's been a slight gain in the last 30 days. That's probably because we started another expedition and you know a little mini uptick like I was mentioning. But what you need to do is not compare it to when we've had a, a giant update and oh look only back in july we had forty thousand. now we're down to 12 oh woe is us the world is ending and no man's sky is coming to an end no that's that's not it at all you need to compare these numbers say like over this period where we're seeing a lull october through to say um january i'd say but we need to wait for that data to appear and you compare it to previous year at the same time because they follow freaking patterns like i was mentioning with the filing history so when you look at november of previous year yeah 13102 november this year 12319 so yes a slight decline in pc players because we've now got Switch players that have joined. You know, that's the new platform that it's been pushed to this year. So we'll probably see that differential in player numbers being upticked by the actual Switch players. So I honestly don't think there's anything to worry about. Now, you're probably thinking, well, this is just your sorts of thoughts and feelings, Captain Steve. Well, yes, yes, it is. But at the same time, you don't have to go far on the Hello Games' actual last patch notes. And when you scroll on down a little, you will see that they're bringing this to Apple in the new year. They're bringing this to VR and PlayStation VR 2 in the new year. So here we go. In addition to all of that, we've also found time to announce that No Man's Sky is in development for Mac OS. So we're going to get an uptick there in players, I'd imagine. And PlayStation VR 2. The, lat the latter is a three update in February 2023. So yeah, we already know that we're getting something in 2023. It's the PlayStation VR 2 version. Will they put out maybe an expedition with that? Would they put out a little bit of content with that? They didn't for nintendo switch but they did put in a few quality of life changes a few ui changes there could be something along that vein don't want to put any false expectations out there but like i say they do sort of take a little hiatus over the christmas period but this year we have got the expeditions and we do know that they're running to the 18th of jan so i'd like to hope that after the 18th of jan we hear something from hello games as to way of where something is coming maybe for mac os maybe a little bit more around PSVR 2. It's still an exciting time for Hello Games and their studio. Now, as you scroll down through these patch notes, there is also another indication that there is something coming in 2023. Development update. Plans are well underway for 2023, and we are looking forward to sharing what we've been working on in the new year. Okay, so the new year, hopefully that coincides with what I just said about January 18th and in between January 18th and also February for the PlayStation VR 2 release. I would like to hear something, anything. But to say that No Man's Sky is a dead game or it's game over for No Man's Sky, I think is a crock of shite because Hello Games have said themselves that they're looking forward to sharing what they've been working on in the new year. So they're already working on something. They want to show us what that is in the new year. That's their own own words i honestly don't think hello games and no man's sky is going anywhere and we're going to have another year of updates whether that brings in something meaningful and large or anything for end game content for players such as myself and other veterans that has to be seen there's quite a few sort of loose gaps and holes with inside of the verse already like the station override the incinerator myth beacons all sorts of other stuff that hasn't been tied up including that summer lore where Ariadne and he went missing into the void there's so many sort of loose ends there's so many directions that hello games could take with no man's sky and its future and i'm still excited for content 
before No Man's Sky, especially now that Bethesda has stepped into the playing field with Starfield, and that's going to open up a little bit of competition, because now Hello Games have to work to retain and keep players, and also keep No Man's Sky relevant. That is unless they've got an awesome IP, a new game, that they've got waiting in the wings, which we all know that they do. So, again, it's another exciting prospect. It could be that we might fork off into another avenue altogether. But is No Man's Sky dead? Heck no. Heck no, it's not. And am I worried? No, no, I'm not. So I am very excited for the new year. Although the 2022 didn't quite deliver in quite a lot in the way of content, it did give us more advanced Sentinels, it gave us Outlaw Stations and where pirates actually come from, which is something that a lot of people have been asking for for a long time, like pirate strongholds and all that sort of shenanigans, it does sort of open up that sort of avenue. With the abandoned systems and nested systems starting to grow and the fact that we've got worm nests now that came from the expeditions originally and now they've been realized into game and you can find these worm nests anywhere, I'm liking the fact that some of the things that have been realized inside of expeditions and now in actual game i love that and i like that sort of delivery the fact that we now got lay laps as a little mini drone which was a nod inside of the law for so long and then has actually been realized makes me think that what we see in the law is something good to speculate on in what might come into game into future versions so i'm still very excited i hope that's coming across and if you are seeing these videos that are a little bit negative nelly around no man's sky uh, I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry. I don't think it's, it, it's dead in the water or anything like that. It's just a case of, you know, they're seeing a decrease in views on side their uh, No Man's Sky channels, and I can understand why they might be worried, but this happens every single year. If you're a content creator for No Man's Sky and you're seeing a bit of a downturn in your actual views, it happens every year. This time of year, it happens every year. And um, all I'd say is just ride that roller coaster. There will be another spike when an update comes, and there will be another lull after that update slips away. It's just the way it is. It's the way it's always been, and I don't think that's going to change. So that's it. There you go, people. I hope that's put you in a more positive, uplifted mood. And um, yeah, that's pretty much... I'm not going to pad this out any longer than it needs to be. Um, I would just say, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to 2023. I've already done my wish list videos. If you'd like to see what I'm hoping to see in 2023, I'll put a link in the top right-hand corner to one of those videos, and I'll put another on the end card, because I've actually done two. I've done realistic experts expectations and then my super wish list yeah i've done two of them so if you don't say see them on the end card or whatever then just look on my channel they're fairly recent i made them within the last month but you'd see i'm quite busy when it comes to putting out content <laughs> so yeah happy hunting for those two videos yeah if you just put in captain steve wish list they should come up anyway people take care and thank you very much for watching and listening and uh yeah i'll see you on the flip side i guess goodbye goodbye and goodbye again